Hello. Hello. Relax. Let's take a look at the brain and what I call the two operating systems of the mind. So, we have the intellectual mind and here we have the primitive mind. Now, if we were going to divide the brain into conscious and subconscious, this would be the conscious part. That's the bit that you know as you. And down here is the subconscious part where all the programming is. So when you're in this part of the brain, you are always getting things right in life. This is where you make a proper assessment of a situation. In this part of the brain, this is where you are confident, where you know how to do things properly, where you've got a good idea of what's going on, you've got a good perspective in life. This is where you're able to make better choices. So we really want you to be in this part of the brain as much as we can get you into there. Now, there is this part of the brain too. Now here, this is what we call the primitive mind. And it's flagged up when we feel an overload of negative emotions. These emotions could be anxiety, fear, or anger. Now, when we feel any of these emotions, this part of the brain is triggered. And this is called the amygdala. And it's like the fire alarm of the brain. So the fire alarm goes off because the stress is then accumulated in what we call a stress bucket. Now, when we have stress in our stress bucket, it means that our fight, flight, freeze response is switched on. And the stress then tips over, meaning that the alarm will continue to ring. And when that happens, this part of the brain is now taking over. So what happens is you get an imaginary brick wall in between your emotional mind and your intellectual mind. So what happens is you lose intellectual control, which of course isn't useful. So when this part of the brain is switched on, you're not really able to move through life appropriately, you're making bad decisions, you're stressed basically. So we want to be able to get you out of this part of the brain and back into this part of the brain because when you're here you're making better decisions, you're motivated, you're confident, you're in control and you're calm. So the only way to get you in here, there is only one way and that is through relaxation. So when you're able to relax, you're basically able to switch this part of the brain off. So what happens is the stress in the bucket reduces and once that stress reduces in the bucket, the alarm goes off of the brain and then once the alarm goes off, the brain thinks it's safe now to lift up the wall. So once the wall is lifted up, you've got back into this part of the brain where you're able to take intellectual control again. So you can now see how relaxation is the only way to get you into this part of the brain where you are calm and in control. And that's where we all need to be to move through life with ease and grace. Now, when this part of the brain is switched on because the alarm is ringing, you're going to get the stress chemicals. And those stress chemicals are adrenaline, cortisol, and histamine. Now, they are brilliant chemicals for when you're running away from a tiger in a jungle, but they're not so great for when you're trying to operate through life smoothly. So we don't want to be able to run our lives with adrenaline fueling our system. So what we have to do is be able to get back into this part of the brain, because when you're in this part of the brain, you're releasing two very positive neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine. Now, serotonin is what we call the happy hormone, and dopamine is what we call the success hormone. Serotonin makes you feel happy, calm, and balanced, and dopamine makes you feel motivated and rewarded. So those two chemicals are really lovely for the brain, and they are the reward chemistry. So as soon as you learn to relax, you're releasing these two chemicals, and that is always a good thing.
Hello, Hello. Relax. Relax.